Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the Bobby Pro. So two years ago, I did a first impressions and a review of this backpack, and I've been receiving a lot of comments to make an update video on it. So this is my two year review. Okay, so I, would, I wouldn't say I take the most care of this backpack, but I don't like, wanna hurt it. It's like my little baby. Um, this backpack, I really like it. Like, the main feature is that it's anti-theft. Um, you really can't see where the opening is unless you're the one opening the backpack from the back. Um, I'd say that's the best part, and that's the only reason why I see people trying to get this backpack. Uh, it's clean looking, and the anti-theft features are pretty nice. Uh, so that's kind of why I got it. I really like the design of it. It might be too simple for some people, but, um... I noticed that it's like a really nice looking backpack. Um, another thing is that the build quality has been degrading over time. Um, you can kind of see just by the seam over here, it's like, it looks a lot different than what it used to. I'll put a picture right now. This is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. So it's a little different. Um, this portion here is like going into the bag a little bit, which I don't really know why. Uh, another thing I realized is that um, when you have a lot of stuff in, the sides start to bulge out a little bit. Um, and I think that's because I've been using it too long. That's why like the structural integrity has been um, getting worse and worse over time. Um, and like, I feel like a little separation of material from here to here. I think that's why it's bulging out in this area. Um, so that's not like, it's not the biggest problem, but it's something I did notice. Um, a bigger problem I did notice was that the arm straps, they're, all the material's kind of like rushing down or like getting compressed up here. Uh, so like I'll put any, I'll put close-ups, but it's, the material here is kind of wearing out a lot faster than the rest of the backpack. And there is a two-year warranty on this bag. So, um, around the time, like it starts wearing out like this, you might be able to get a new one. Uh, but who knows? Like that's just not... I wouldn't say that's something you want to see in a backpack you spent like $150 on. Uh, so that's like a dime downside of it, but they do have really good customer support. Um, I did make a video on it. I'll just put it here in the corner. Um, so yeah, the arm straps, I see it as like a minor problem. Um, it doesn't make it less comfortable. It just makes it like scarier to hold when you have a lot of stuff inside. Um, and you can kind of see that like, I use the right right like arm strap a lot more sometimes when I'm just carrying uh, with one strap. Maybe that's why it's like making this faster, but um, it's not a great thing to see. Another thing I noticed was that this little handle here is really useful. Um, I, you probably do this with other bags too, but when I'm carrying it around, I don't want to wear it. I just hold it up with like my, my hand um, and that seems to be a very convenient way to take things around. So that's um, something I started to like about this backpack. Also, another thing I noticed was that this pocket right here is my favorite. Uh, it's a really, really big pocket. So you can just basically chuck anything in here, like a wallet, your phone, um, normal car keys. Or like, yeah, just a lot of stuff in here. Um, when I do travel, I also put like a passport in here because it's a really safe place to keep it. Um, so that's what I use this pocket for. And since it's uh, since the rest of the bag is really hard to access really quickly, um, just taking off like one strap, reaching back and using this pocket is really nice. Um, and there's, there's a lot of padding between that pocket and this um, outer layer. So you, you don't have to care about anything in here getting damaged. Uh, I'd say the pocket I use the least from this back area is actually this one here. Um, this is meant to be a tablet pocket, but I didn't want to use it because the iPad is prone to bending. Um, I don't want that to happen. And this one, there's really no like structural rigidity to like keep it in there. So that's why I didn't use that pocket. Um, it, I put like a shirt in there one time, but it's not... I don't like it. Um, this right pocket here, 
it has this little key ring. Um, then again, I never really use this key. I don't, I don't have keys. Um, so I don't know why I thought this was like a selling point, but if you do have keys, it might be more convenient, but the fact that you have to open up a zipper, um, pull it out, and then you have this like weird key mechanism. I don't, I don't really care about this. So I never use that. Also, this USB, like, section over here, I also never, well, I use it time to time, but this is not, I never used it as much as I thought I would. Um, it's cool, because you can actually charge the, the power bank inside with USB-C, and then you can charge whatever device you want um, on this side, which uses USB-A. Uh, but it's just, it's just annoying. I don't, I don't see myself using this any time soon again uh like the location's great but yeah i don't like it it's good that it's there though oh um and i completely forgot about this fidlock system because i hate it and it's the worst uh the, i I've, i see no point in using it like this like it's cool that they tried to solve the water bottle issue and like you, there's a phone mount for this as well, but I, I feel like they could have had some other thing here uh, instead of engineering this like mechanism. It's cool and all, but I, I don't see the practicality in that. Uh, also, this right side has a little card holder with an RFID protection. Um, but I noticed that the card would get like stuck in here. And it's kind of annoying to pull out when you're like in the subway and everyone's lining up behind you and it gets very scary. Uh, just put in your wallet. Like maybe if you want like an emergency card, it's fine, but um, not for your primary. It's too annoying to take out. Oh, um, something I noticed about the zipper is although it's really um, nice that it's anti-theft, sometimes I forget where I put the zipper. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Like, I, I zip up the backpack and it's like I push it down too far on accident. I come back to the bag and I'm like, oh, where is it? Where is it? And then it's like in the bottom here. And then you might get confused with like this zipper because it's like pretty much the same zipper. Um, it's just a very minor problem I had. I, I don't see that many issues with it. Um, on the inside, oh, I left my charger in there. The inside has a lot of good pockets. Uh, like you can hold your chargers. Um, you can see more about these pockets in my in my review video. Uh, I'll link that in the description too. Um, but out of all these pockets, I mean, obviously I use the laptop pocket the most. This one is uh, really good for like big laptops. I. I, when I used to use like a smaller 13 inch laptop, this was a little bit too big, so I didn't tend to use it that often. Um, the tablet pocket here is really nice for, it fits an iPad perfectly, which I'll show you. Okay, so it fits uh, this iPad perfectly. It's like actually a really perfect fit. It's really satisfying really. Um, but I have a separate sleeve for this. You can see a video on that too. Uh, but what I put inside that pocket instead is this gridded organizer. Um, I really like it because you can put all your like charging cables in one place. And then this is the size of an iPad, so it just fits snugly inside of the tablet slot. Um, that's just what I personally do. I never put my tablet in there because I feel like, you know, it might bend. Uh, so I tend to just use it for my charging cables. Um, out of these pockets, I just shove whatever random stuff I have in here. These mesh make it like really easy to put whatever you want. Um, unlike the previous ones where it was just these, like these material pockets. Um, so that's a really good like organizer. I really like it. Um, on the inside, also, the one thing I noticed is that, like, the fact that you can open it 180 degrees is cool. 
But it's so annoying. I don't... I don't see myself... doing all of that every time I open my bag. Um, I guess it's good for like when you're traveling, but you would just bring a small suitcase. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, also, there are these little dividers that it comes with. I haven't used them like at all. Um, I use those like a school backpack, so that kind of makes sense, but they're so flimsy and like the only good use for them is like keeping um, this top portion separate from the bottom. But then when you do use the organizers, these tiny mesh pockets are really hard to use, so I didn't really notice anything good about that. Um, but yeah, the mesh pockets are really good upgrade compared to the previous Bobby backpack. I'll show you another picture here. Um, and I like how they tried to tackle the water bottle space issue by having this little, um, what do you call it, elastic strap here. But I ended up using it a lot for my glasses case because it's pretty much a water bottle and it just fits right there uh, and it's very convenient. Um, this pocket here is where the charger cables are. Um, clearly I don't use them that often. Like when I'm traveling or going far places it's nice but it just adds up, gets heavy and um, I don't like it. There's also this little, this little door that slides up. I haven't used that like ever. Um, I also printed this little, little bottom piece for the backpack because I noticed that like without it, the bottom of the bag has like no structural integrity. Um, like it, it just folds in on itself. So like when I don't have anything in the bag, it starts compressing and deforming, which I really didn't like. Uh, so that's why I have a little piece in there. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is what it, the bag feels like. Um, so they have like this whole system where the fact that everything is compact in this one space um, makes it so that the bag leans on the back of your bag, like your back, um, which makes it feel a lot li lighter. And I noticed that that's pretty true. Um, I realized this bag, like when you're carrying it from the handle here, it's really heavy, but then you do put it on and then it starts like, it's way more comfortable. Also, I'm pretty sure the padding here helps with that. Um, it's, it's really breathable, especially in the day. Um, so I think that's pretty cool too. Okay, so this bag is really, oh, it's not old, but it's pretty old compared to, like, I guess, new new bags. That makes no sense. But um, I'd say if you're planning on getting this backpack now, it's it's still worth it. Um, you can kind of see that the quality is really nice. The fabric here in the front doesn't scratch as easily as the old Bobby does, which is really nice. Like I can I can use my fingernail on this and it won't even leave a mark. Um, and the fabric is really nice. I've used this in the rain before. Uh, it will not get wet on the inside, no matter how hard you try. Um, and like just overall, this backpack's really nice. Uh, I'd still recommend it two years later. Uh, and I still think it'll last me like another, I don't know, four years. Uh, it's a really nicely built backpack. It looks nice. Um, I think they future-proofed it pretty well with this little charging port with USB-C and um, that's pretty much all I have for this video that's really long but um, if you got it to the end thank you for watching if you want more videos like this give me a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye